It occurs oh. to me that I did not check the memory cards. So I hope this is the right one. Classic boot up noise. Mm-hmm. you go live yet or you're just waiting to like oh i'm live oh okay <laughs> i wouldn't waste the boot up noise on not being live that's an important part it is pull up the stream so i can see the chat was it at evil? i'm uh i'm streaming Streamlabs directly to you, so you should just see it in Discord. Yeah, I just don't want to, like, see it from Twitch. Okay. You know, and then, you know, count as a fucking viewer. <laughs> you always count as a viewer in my book. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, I think. I think that's nice. <laughs> yeah, I think it's close enough to nice. It's nice adjacent. What's my inventory like? Uh, see, I got the red jewel. I got some ink rebounds. 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 So I guess I can put those away because I'm not saving right now. Helmet key for. For helmet doors. What do I got in here? Okay. Bottle, nothing, 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 nothing. Not a damn thing, but some empty bottles. Uh, map. Where am I going? What am I doing? Who am I? Where am I? Let's see. I haven't been to that room there. Uh, okay, there's two rooms on floor one I haven't been to. There's several rooms on floor two I haven't been to. Uh, let's just go on up to floor two. Solid plan. Yeah, glad I thought of it. Gotta love those spooky door transitions. I just was thinking of about the stairs that don't quite sound like you're walking upstairs. Well, the stair transitions are good too. Did I do this? I don't remember. Maybe it's not close enough to the moose head. Oh right, if I keep the light off, it'll like glint if it's if the item is there to take. And there's no glint, so I guess we're done. Easy peasy. Yeah. No glint. Uh have not been to the room on the end there, so we'll go there. What are we looking for right now? New things. All oh, right, the key panel. Okay, uh, we're not going there yet. Where else haven't I been? That leads to just a bunch of rooms we haven't been to, but I can go 
to the other side of the main staircase. And there's a few rooms over there I haven't been to. Uh. Feeling a little nauseous? Uh, no, I'm okay. Okay. There are hunters in this room now. Nope, nope. Save that ammo? Oh, or not. Pardon me. <laughs> ah, shit. Okay, it's dead. It's dead. It only took a little bit of damage. I'm fine. I wanted to. I remember like forever ago. Buddy. Corey and I um, started Resident Evil 5, I think it was. Okay. Because that's online co-op. Yeah. I'd always try that. I've never played Riz- Oh, ah, there's another one! Fuck off. Oh, shit. I had to reload. And that's when he that's when he snagged my head. You are dead. I died. Oh, you died. That's <laughs> how it goes. It's all right. I'm I'm dipping my toes back in. You know, I'm I'm feeling things out. It's fine to die to a hunter a time or two. Wow. Flawless all the time. Yeah, five and six. Well, I mean, this was flawless, you know. I'm just showing people what happens when you die to a hunter. <laughs> it's an important part of the game to show off. You have to have a well rounded knowledge. Yeah. yeah. Sure. Well, all the Resident Evil games are on sale right now, too. It's like 75% off on Steam. Wow. It's like you're barely even paying for it. Yeah, like six seventy four Canadian, so like $2 American. Hmm. But this is saying that like 5 and 6 and Outbreak 1 and 2 have online... Everybody Anything. hates Resident oh, Evil oh. 6. Oh. Okay, so you want that one? I don't know. I've never played it, but everybody hates it. Okay, well. If it's something everybody hates, you definitely shouldn't play it, stream it together, because. What? Ah! Uh, oh god. And I do remember, like, the bit that we did play of 5 being pretty fun, so. Have a look. Got interested. I'm gonna buy it for you because it's on sale. But I want the PS3 version of five. <laughs> Is that online though? Yeah. Did they not discontinue? I mean, I think games yeah. uh, still have their whatever. still have their uh, online functionality, but, like, you can't buy stuff off the store anymore. Oh. Oh. Is it a three hey. game? I thought it was, like, a four game. Jesus! I couldn't see him! 
He got on the other side of me. He's not allowed to do that. But I figured I'd show off uh, what happens when the hunters get on the other side of you. Good, good. Checking all the boxes. Mm -hmm. Getting sure everybody... Everybody sees and knows. Was that? I thought it was a PS4 game, not PS3 game. What? Resident Evil 5. It came out for PS3 and 360. And was probably ported to the PS5. Or PS4. I feel like I got it as like a free game. I think it's one that I would have to grab my phone. My PlayStation. Yeah. Got a lot of blue herbs. The blurbs. I got some. Like the fuck are you saying right now? I've got some blurbs. Do I have anything like way down for some reason? Shit, I don't have a lot of healing items. That's worrisome. You'll have to go find some. I don't know if there really is any until the last area. I might have raided this place. I mean, we could get this game used on eBay for five bucks. Uh, PS3, you don't need that. Huh. Yeah, it's free online. <laughs> PS4, you need that. Oh, yeah. PS5. Look, we went to play Sea of Thieves last week, I think Thursday? Yeah. And Shane... He, he said he was getting a sign-in error. He was like, it says I'm not signed in. And then Kyle and I tried the same thing. So I was like, well, maybe, you know, we all got booted from the... Because Sea of Thieves is originally a Microsoft Xbox game. Yeah. So to be able to play on the PlayStation, you had to have, like, an Xbox account. To, like, set up what? the Xbox app. Get it. Triple tap. so dark, I can't tell if it's alive or dead. Now it's dead. You can tell it's dead when it squeals like that. Oh, God. Um, so anyway, I go into the Xbox app, and the Xbox app won't even load. Uh, shit, I'm gonna have to use this. I don't wanna, but I'm gonna have to. When you die and then come back, like, obviously your any of your shit's gone, right? Uh, I mean, anything that I picked up that, and haven't saved yet. Used or whatever. Um. Yeah, so I don't know if you heard it was like a global Microsoft outage last week. I have not heard other than what you told me. Yeah, it was like, we thought it was just like game specific, but it like affected airlines, people's direct deposits, like even people at my job didn't get paid. If they were with, like, a specific bank. Crazy. Oh, okay, that must be the same thing that happened uh, with my friend's work, then. Yeah, I think it was, like, global Microsoft outage. So if, like, your job or, like, not maybe specifically your job, but, like, your bank used, like, Microsoft applications, it, like, fucked with a lot of shit. This room. all like, oh, should we go get cash out? I'm like, I don't think 
a fire sale happens with cash. <laughs> this room doesn't take a key. I just never went here. Um, it is. Does that little dining room? Okay, I think. Eating. Though? I think you push this cabinet, and then there's Zambos behind it. Zambos being bad guys. Zombies. <laughs> Never heard zombos before. Uh oh, okay. It's too dark to see anything. It's too dark to see anything. I don't recall what to do about that. Oh wait, is there just a light switch in here? Why would it be too dark to push a cabinet? I don't know. Oh, I will take the clip. I'll take more ammo. Yeah. I mean, I don't have that gun with me, but I will. Eventually. You need ammo. You need healy things. I do need yeah, healy maybe. things, but I, I picked up an herb. So we're good on that. If I take a, l a little more damage. A candle. Oh, was I supposed to bring the lighter with me? Uh, is there a safe room up here anywhere? See, the room next to this one is the one where you fought the snake the first time. And... Hmm. I mean, I could just run back to the safe room where we just were. I, c I could always do that. Oh, what's this? Ink ribbons, okay. I thought I saw something on the table there. Okay, yeah, let's just let's just go back to, to that safe room. I killed the hunters on the way here, so we should be fine. Famous last words. Shh. Never seen you be fine. Chewy. Okay, I am going on the assumption that I need to use the lighter to light the candles. Good assumption. Sol solid assumption. Thank you, I thought so too. Candles and lighters go pretty hand in hand. And that herb. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> light the herb with the uh, with the lighter. That's how you heal, right? It's yeah. Sweet. You just light it up. I don't think we've done the second fight with the snake yet. So that might be the next thing we're we're building towards here. There's more than one fight with the yeah, snake. Yeah, because after the first fight with the snake, the snake just ran away. No. But we haven't killed it yet. Fucking coward. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Damn you, regroupy snake. Don't suppose I have any red herbs. I do not. Oh, I should take the clip out and, uh, and combine these. Yeah. 
And I didn't take the lighter like I uh, like I went in there for. Maybe that's my bad. I should I'm like, no, don't leave. You don't have the lighter. That's what you're here for, to remind me of things so I'm not stupid. Yeah, I Failing at my job already. Lighter! There we go. like that like da da no it's not good when the beat picks up it's fine here because the only thing that can hurt me is that guy but he's all the way over there like an idiot look at him i like that zombies move slow in the original ones Just yeah mute for a <laughs> See, slow zombies seem less dangerous, but they're more foreboding, you know? Apple was not enough of a snack. You should have a snack. You need an orange. A candle. There we go. Now it's all lit up in here. Way too bright looking for a candle. It's a candelabra. Oh, okay, fair. Doesn't it look like there's something written on the wall here? But she's not interacting with it, so I guess not. Um, that could just be like a smidge of blood or something. Oh, maybe. Or like the scuff mark from when you slid the thing over. And now I can see the acid rounds. It's all that's in here, though. Wow, health is really, like, few and far between. It is. Okay, so with that out of the way, now I gotta go back to that hallway, and around there. I'm a little worried that that big, uh, that rectangular room directly above where we are. That might be the room where you refight the snake. Oh. If it is, Maybe. I'll recognize it and I'll, uh... I think you have time to just, like, immediately turn around. Had her save it, like, right outside the door. Can't do that. You gotta save in safe rooms. Oh, uh, wait. Video games used to be harder. Yeah. That's one of the reasons I prefer the original Resident Evils. Because, like... The modern games, like, you'll get, like, auto-saves and stuff, and it's like, that's cool and all, but... 
Doesn't that kind of take the survival out of the survival horror? Like, there's no stakes anymore. That's true. I mean, at the very least, you should be able to, like, kind of like how you can set difficulty. Oh, hello. Beginning. Oh, that's a big guy. Well, at least you're behind him. And he's, like, in front of you. I think there's more up here. Oh, you know what? There's a save room directly be below me. And yeah, yeah, that room that we're heading to is, is in fact, where you fight the snake again. I'm not ready for that? Uh, I mean, I would need to go and... Get some heals. Oh, shit. Shit. Stop it. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. Ah! Oh, that was so messy. I'll, I'll use it. Well, I sure would like to find some more shotgun shells. Um, but for... Uh, for the snake, I'm gonna be grabbing the bazooka. Uh, and I'm just gonna be avoiding you. Okay. Just do the fancy footwork and you're fine. Alright, I'm gonna stash the shotgun for now. And the lighter I don't need. I think I do need the helmet key. I think that's what unlocks the door. But give me... Bazooka? And I've got acid rounds. Um... And more acid rounds. And that's all I've got. I've got 12 shots to take it out. Uh, okay, fine. That'll be enough. I'll take the shotgun too, just in case. And yeah, I mean, a first aid. Yet, do you? So what? You don't have to do it yet, do you, if you're not ready? It's kind of the only next thing to do. Oh. Gardening tools, nothing useful. Damn. You know, let's go ahead and save it too. Now I'm debating saving it. Because maybe I should save it after the fight. Well, I don't know. I probably have enough to get through the game, so whatever. Whatever's more thrilling. Plus, I don't like that there's a uh, hunter right outside this room. Ah, damn it, he got me immediately? What a dick. No! Let me up the stairs. Nobody wants to play with you.
He heard the typewriter noise and he was just on it. He was. <sighs> I'm just not in a great position here. We got two bites taken out of ya. Yeah. Two bites? One or two bites. Alright, we bite. use the helmet key. This key is yeah. useless now, and I know that for a fact. Yes, and I'm right, I would have had time to just turn around, but this is where you fight the snake again. Let's go ahead and fight him. Eh. I know you're here. Do I play piano to get him uh, to come on? <gasps> you bastard! I was gonna play the piano! I got him. That was easy. I only took That's one hit. Hmm. Yeah, look at him melt. Underestimated yourself. I did. Don't I should. Uh, I should use this spray though. A hole opens in the fireplace. A hole. Oh. He came from a hole, so... Yeah. Would... But he left this oh. hole in the ground. And it's too dark to see anything. Awesome. Oh, it's our friend. Jill, Barry. have you found anything interesting? Yeah, there's a yes, dead snake in but here. I can't see very well. How about going down to check by yourself? I have a rope here. Oh, thanks for the suggestion, oh, Barry. Jesus. Well, then I'll try to go down using the rope. Wait. I mean, if he's suggesting she goes because she's smaller, that's fine. But, like, dude. How about you go down there? How about you fucking go hey, down there? what's right. going on? Now I've done it. Sorry, Jill. Wait. <laughs> oh, get another rope. I fucked up. Barry? Done. Fuck Barry? up, Jill. Yeah. He's like, I gotta go. Sorry, bye. Okay. So, um, one of the things that I didn't know about the first time I played this is that to get the good ending, you have to actually wait for Barry to come back. Oh, really? Is you yeah. just have to stay there the whole time? Yeah. I did oh, not do that. I went exploring. Well... Who would think to like wait? I mean, right. unless did he tell you to wait? He did. He did. Oh, okay. But I thought it was just you know game talk. Hey, but... are you there, Jill? Yeah, that's a fair Grab assumption. So, what ending did you get by not waiting? I got the ending where Barry died. Oh. I'm sorry, Jill. I didn't know that was going to happen. Sorry. I didn't know that. I was really careless. <laughs> Are you okay, Barry? Maybe you're getting tired. No, I'm all right. Don't worry. Uh, he sounds Jill, pretty tired, actually. I found was, something. Uh, yeah. uh, don't worry. Don't worry. Don't. He found something for us. We got a pass number. Oh, that's to get in that other door. Can you remember it? 810-8310. Thank you. I'll take this then. <laughs> God. So bad. That's yep. how I found him when I first started, like, voice acting. <laughs> <laughs> Barry.
Barry, did you happen to find any first aid spray? Because I could use that. I'll take this then. But we could go exploring the basement now. Now that he uh, fastened a rope to the hole. Or we can uh, go put that passcode in. Do you think there's like anything Healy in the basement? Uh, there's potential to like... be Healy stuff in either one. Can you do both, or do you have to do like one or the other? Yeah, we can do both. Yeah, well then I vote for the basement first. Yeah, me. Oh. <laughs> or not. <laughs> I'm already going this way. Alright, it's, it's fine. It's fine, we'll go to the basement. I know there. Are, I know there are actually zombies in the basement. Oh, you're scared of the basement. Me too. No, that's why I, I'm, I'm more scared of being up here with the hunters. Zombies are easy. I can just pop their heads off with the shotgun. Hunters are scary. Oh, the snake is all cleaned up. That's good. There's a rope. Will you descend it? Yeah. Matching cleaning crew coming through. <laughs> I just got an ad on your channel for Star Wars Oreos. That sounds great. Mm-hmm. Remember they had some Super Mario ones and I was just so tempted to buy them because I just a couple months got me uh, that packaging. A couple months ago they had Pop Rocks Oreos and I tried them and Ugh. they were really good. Really? Yeah. Shocker. A regular zombie. Oh get over here and let me hug you with a shotgun. Right in the face. Quick on the draw with that one. Uh -huh. Ooh, shotgun shells? Don't mind if I do. I was running out of those. Oh. Don't mind me. Okay. I just randomly sigh all the time. Are you disappointed? No. Okay. That's good. That's like, um... A weird symptom of my accident. What was that? What was that noise? Sorry. No, 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 no. This noise that I'm hearing. Sounds like one of those brain sticks. <laughs> oh, they're just munching on something. I'll, I'll leave them be, I suppose. You know those rain sticks that you made as a kid? Uh, I never made one, but I am, I've am i played with them before. You never made one? You just like... Uh, I mean, I guess you just put put, some nails and... put some beans or whatever in a hollowed out stick. Yeah, with some nails, I think, because that gives the noise of like it. What did you make them out of? PVC pipe? I remember. Oh, we're in the kitchen. And I know there's some Zambos in the kitchen. Some Zambonis? Some Zambonis. Um... Oh, I remember there being Zambos in the kitchen. Maybe they're around the corner here. Oh! He tricked me. Water 
is not supplied. Well, that's not a big surprise, is it? No food in that fridge, either. A freezer? It has not been used for a long time. No food. A gas cooking stove. The gas is not supplied. And this place is kind of worthless. Does the microwave work? An oven! No, that's a microwave. <laughs> it's badly rusted and does not seem to work. It'll be a toaster oven. Same, same. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh! That looks what like a hunter. Do hunters come in here? I would prefer if they didn't. Oh no, it's just a zombie. Okay, that's fine. Pop goes your head. He was like, I was just trying to use the toaster of it. <laughs> <laughs> you killed me. It's dusty. It has not been used for a long time. I mean, the kitchen, other than the walls, looks pretty decent. Yeah. And the rusted out uh, toaster oven slash microwave thing. You know, it could have been an air fryer and then they'd be like very ahead of their time. Oh man. I don't, gotcha. I don't think air fryers were a thing back then, were they? No, they weren't. They were only like a thing like in the last like five years. I feel like bidets and air fryers became quite big in and around COVID. Yeah. I don't I don't get the hype around air fryers to be honest. We have one, but it has like um reheat like and then just like a normal oven setting. It's got like eight different settings and it's pretty dope, but the thing with air frying is like hypothetically let's say you were going to roast some chickpeas in the oven, okay. you could air fry them for like half the time and they'd be much crispier too. Okay. It's essentially just like deep frying, but healthier, and cuts the like cook time in in half. They are worth it. That's, but that's just me. So it has uses, but I feel like most people just use it for things that you could just bake in an oven. Yeah. Totally, but this, like I said, it cuts the time in half. And kind of like, yeah. Yeah, ours also has like a toast function, so it's it's like a convection oven, air fryer, toaster. Yeah, it's got like a bunch of features to like, reheat. Probably too, if you're like one person and you're cooking a small meal, an air fryer would be smarter too, because then you don't have to heat up like a whole huge oven and then cook your food for longer. So in in a sense, they're also like better on hydro. Okay. I would I would say Like I had one that looks like a dinosaur egg and because John has like his, the one that we like have now that does all those things. Um, I just gave mine to my mom. Okay, okay, that's cool. Oh, good. There's a little nook over here with an herb. Oh, that's good. Yay, a green one. A green herb. A herb. I need them. What's the difference between green and blue? Uh, green heals. Blue, uh, does nothing on its own, but when you mix it with green herbs, it removes poison. Oh. And red does nothing on its own, but when you mix it with green, er green herbs, it full heals. Gotcha. And green, red, and blue mixed together, full heals, and, uh... Heals your poison. <sighs> Ow. 
running out of shots. Should probably be a little more conservative with these. Unless I find more shots. That, that'd be cool. I will use the lockpick. To get some magnum rounds. Ooh, I can't wait till we go. start using the magnum. Magnum PI? Magnum Opus. You know, nothing around here has been uh, used in a particularly long time. Wow, it's just like a cover house, isn't it? Or oh. is that the blue version? Do it. Like, I thought the, like, mansion was just, like, the cover. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the cover for the laboratory. Scrapbook. So, Raccoon Times. would have been used. Well, right? yeah. <gasps> that will... May 27th, 1998. Animal attack. Woman mutilated. May 20th, around 10 p.m., a 20-year-old young woman's body was found by a passerby on the left bank <gasps> of Marble River in the Cider District of Raccoon City. Raccoon police assume it to be a grizzly or other animals doing because there are teeth marks along her mutilated arms and left foot that show considerable power. Since she was wearing a hiking boot on her remaining foot, it has been determined that she was attacked in the Arklay Mountains and fell into the river. They are hurrying to identify this woman. Raccoon so Weekly, June wearing... 16th, 1998. She was wearing so what? She was wearing a stiletto. They might, like, assume something else. Yeah, if she was wearing a stiletto, she was uh, walking the streets at night. Yeah. And got attacked by a vicious animal. Monsters in Arklay Mountains? Some people claim they've seen monsters in the Arklay Mountains. The monsters are supposedly about the same size as large dogs and usually run in a pack as wolves do. This may sound like a group of ordinary wild dogs, but these monsters are surprisingly fierce and hard to hurt. They say these dogs won't bother you unless you wake them, so you smart readers should stay out of the Arklay Mountains for the time being. But if you're looking for adventure, check it out! You want to try? <laughs> it was the Chupacabras. Raccoon Times, July 9th, 1998. Mystery on Arclay Mountains, Mountain Road Block. Due to successive disasters in the Arclay Mountains, the city authorities have decided to block the road leading to the foothills. At the same time, Raccoon Police intend to begin the search for lost people with the help of STARS team members. They expect great difficulty because of the vast size of Arclay Mountains and the primeval forest that covers most of the area. Also, people are still reporting sightings of grotesque monsters in the mountains. More of, like, uh, news clippings than a scrapbook. Some people scrapbook news clippings, though. I don't want to know those people. <laughs> can I move this? I can. Did I want to move that? Probably not in the direction that I moved it. not been used for a long time. Can you tell because the shelves are actually collapsed? I think at this point we can just assume everything has not been used. Mm. Oh, I think this brown shelf moves. Like with a lever or something. There's a switch. Will you push it? Yes. Okay, well, I was able to turn the light on. Just uh, in case you didn't believe in me. Oh, okay. I think, uh, yeah, I pushed that pillar into the light. I was gonna say, is that a button on her chest? Yeah, it's cute as a button. Oh, I think my boyfriend is home. Nice. Oh, really? 
if he muted for a bit, just say hi. Okay. We got the first MO disc. I guess that's all that's in here. Try moving this the other way. Aha! Oh, it's a safe room. Very nice. A much safer safe room than that one with the uh, hunter in front of. can look over the courtyard from here. It's a helicopter port. If I could contact the other members from there. Damn. And this doesn't actually function as a safe room. What did I miss? Uh, I found a safe room. I walked over to this window and... Oh, she's doing it again. She can look at the courtyard from here. It's a helicopter port. If I could contact the other members from there. That's it. So this is a safe room in the literal sense. In the fact that it is safe here. But, uh... There's no typewriter and there's no box. And my inventory's full, so... Yeah. I mean, there's... Is that not good to have a full inventory? No, because there's stuff there that I'd like to pick up, but I can't. Go back for it later? Yeah. Get rid of something in your inventory? I guess I didn't need to bring the red jewel with me, but I don't remember where it goes or what to do with it. Um... On a statue, because it kind of looked like that one statue had a red jewel in its chest. Um, I th think I might have pulled it from a statue. I don't remember. So maybe it goes into like another statue? I believe so. Oops. I don't know. I am not a survival game person. I mean, I'm like okay at puzzles. With hints. battery. Now I can move the elevator in the courtyard. Uh, and I can't take it. Ah, uh, balls. A shitty. And I can't carry those rounds of ammo. Or these rounds of ammo. Damn it. Ah. Don't you have like a fuck ton of empty bottles? Can't you just like get rid of those? No, you can't drop the empty bottles. They just take up space uh, in my uh in my inventory. So beyond frustrating, that yeah. should not be a fun thing. Yeah, but what are you gonna do? Never play again. <laughs> Complain <gasps> to Capcom. Oh my god. Watch over that puppy. But look! Look at these! 
I can't. There's like a squirrel outside my window. Okay, He's look at the squirrel. Oh my god, you turn to drag a bottle. Okay, so sorry, what did I miss? Oh, there were like uh, three herbs just like sitting on the floor there. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to come back this way. Sorry, so side note. Our neighbors, and I think I told you the like story about the owl. Did I? Uh. Oh, shit, I missed. The owl, I don't recall. Okay, so when I, we first moved in, my mom did like a whole bunch of landscaping. Oh, there's nothing it's over here? Like, it looks like there's stuff there. There's like. I mean, long story short, she found this owl in the trees on our side. Okay in our trees and then it's just like an owl statue she like moved it around the yard every like time she came over she kept like moving it to new places okay and the last place it was was like on a like on the our, on our back porch and we when i put chewy out in the morning it was there we left and when we came back later in the day it was just gone and it kind of freaked me out because like, with someone casing the place and, like, looking in the house and then just took this owl as a fucking joke. And everyone in the neighborhood assured me, like, that wouldn't happen. It's, like, super safe here, etc. Like, no one would have done that. Right. And so then we started to speculate that maybe it was our neighbors. Because, like, people who lived here before said they were, like, pretty standoffish, like, but nice enough. And then they just like got like really weird vibey with us, so I think it was theirs. And then they thought we just took it, and then they just like came and took it back. Okay. So ever since then, I'm just like, okay, like I get it. You want nothing to do with us. Like, at, had you done that, you could have at least like left a note, like, oh hey neighbors, noticed you had our owl, we took it back because like I don't want to worry that someone was on my property and on our back porch. Mm -hmm. You know. So anyway, last night, uh, and then, so before last night, they don't wash out their peanut butter jars. And so like four times now, their peanut butter jars end up like pretty much in our yard. Cause like a squirrel or <laughs> a crow or something has like dragged it over here. Yeah. So last night I hear this thump and I thought maybe John accidentally kicked Chewy out of bed. And... And I feel around and I feel chewy and it, that wasn't it. And then I hear like this noise that it's like the door kind of like shutting, you know, like when the wind kind of like blows it shut or like opens it back up slightly. Yeah. And that wasn't it. And so I'm like, okay, you know what? Maybe someone's outside. I don't know. So I look out the window and our food scrap bin, which is securely locked, is on its side and I just see like a big blob and i'm like oh it's a raccoon and then it like looks up at me in the window and we're like staring at each other for like a minute before it just kind of waddles off into their yard and that's when i noticed that their food scrap bin is also on its side okay and then it waddles back and goes inside their food bin so theirs wasn't securely like locked shut mm-hmm and then this morning when I woke up, their fucking food is all over their yard from their bin. And then the squirrel was just in there recycling, like, carrying off a bottle of some kind. <laughs> so I'm just like, I'd see that to me is a prime example why you're nice to your neighbors. Because if they've gone away, I could have put out their, like, recycling and their food scraps for them. And I would probably clean that up. But I'm like, since you guys are fucking weird and unfriendly, I'm... Have fun with your moldy food, even moldier food when you have, come back. Have fun with your raccoons. Yeah, but so now I guarantee you that bottle is gonna end up in our fucking yard. Oh yeah, look, it's pretty much not quite on our side, but almost, and it'll probably sit there for days. I finally picked up the peanut butter one. I was like, are you guys not gonna pick this up? I hate people. I thought you were going to say, I hate peanut butter. Oh, I like <laughs> peanut butter. I don't like craft peanut butter. Who still buys, like, the fucking chemical sugar bullshit? So That's you're not a, you're not a GIF girl? 
No, I'm an all natural girl. Wow. And it's pretty rare when we buy peanut butter. Like, I like eating peanuts, but I prefer almond butter. I take it you're a gif. Uh, I don't really Jim. have. I don't have any brand loyalty toward uh, toward peanut butter brands. You just buy whatever's on sale. I just buy whatever I find. Peanut butter's whatever. fine. Whatever's. Well, it must. It's not. Get all natural peanut butter. <laughs> Awful Don't demanding. It's better for you. Don't need the sugar. I did buy some, uh. Uh. uh what you call it? peanut butter and jelly to just make something really cheap for lunch while I'm home. What kind of jelly? Uh, Smucker's grape jelly. No. I don't think I was ever a grape jelly person. Strawberry. Strawberry without the seeds, though. I, uh, I don't like strawberries, so, yeah. Mm. Mm. Not even strawberry flavor? Nope. No strawberries. No strobes for you. No strobes. Not a single strobe. You know what? I've used enough... Uh... Shotgun shells for one day. I'm gonna put it away. That's what she said. Uh, nope. I think. <laughs> And I'll put the red jewel away for right now. Watch you meet it immediately on the other side of the mansion. Well, shit, I might. You won't know till you know. But you don't know. But I will use the ink ribbon because we've made some progress. We killed a whole boss and we had explored like most of the part of the mansion. We've explored the basement. I mean, I would hope so. We've been at it for like an hour. Yeah. If this was me playing a video game, nothing would have gotten done, though. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I did have to show off two deaths. Yeah. You know? Yeah. That's our story. Stick it to it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Using the pistol so I can't pop zombies' heads off anymore. But it'll be fine. Chewy. Chewy! Chewy! Chewing on his fucking feet. Makes well, you funny. named him that. No, I didn't. Oh, you didn't? No, he came with that. He's a oh. rescue. Oh, okay. He's well, maybe from... somebody uh, examined his chewing habits and named him based on that. I they just named him that because he's a chihuahua. <laughs> what? 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 Uh, oh, oh, you, oh. What an asshole. Alright, but I can pick these up. And I can actually store some herbs. Can you believe it? Yay. Can you make your backpack bigger in this game at all, or no? Nope. Nope. You got what you got. Deal with it. Um, I guess I'll use this one herb by itself, because I just got attacked. Thought I killed everything in here. This room, I think. Yeah, so I can get the battery. Uh, 
Yeah, there is a key item. And I can take these round, the explosive rounds, that's what they are. That's good. Get some explosions going with my grenade launcher. Or bazooka. And... There's something else I left behind. Oh yeah, that save room that wasn't actually a save room. Tastes like save room. I started watching that show. Um, it was like Tacomb Hefty. I have no idea what that is. Oh, it's like firefighter show, which is like two of the Super Troopers guys. Okay. And I think it takes about like three episodes before it gets really funny, but. There was just like some pretty fucking hilarious moments, actually. So, if you're ever looking for something to watch. So, you like those broken lizard movies, right? For the most part, yeah. yeah. Like, I liked, uh, obviously, Super Troopers, like, a lot. Yeah. OG, and then I love Club Dread, but that's the. Uh, Horror movie person in me. Funny. Have you uh, watched Beer Fest? Beer Fest, yeah, that's the next one that I good. Slam and Salmon is unmemorable. Uh, My friend too. loves uh, Slam and Salmon. I haven't seen it though. Yeah, I saw it once. I don't know, maybe. I don't know, I. But the first time. Uh, I saw Super Troopers, I was like utterly hungover. Like I was it was like death. <laughs> I was hmm. I was so hungover and so I thought it was like really stupid and I didn't think it was funny. And then everyone's like, You're crazy, like it's so funny, it's so good. Well I guess I'll go watch it again. Well me and my friend uh quote beer fest all the time. I do like it the best. Have a BJ from your great grandma. On me! I love the scene where he's like drunk with the uh... power? No, like right at the beginning and he's got like the case of beer on his head and then he's like in the washroom but he thinks he's like so fucking suave. Oh yeah, and... yeah, the uh, the Indian guy. Yeah, Jay yeah. Chandra's a character. He's like talking to himself with a beer and he's all like, Ugh, you sexy, whatever. And then they like actually they, show him. They the actually show him. He's just like, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's dude. And then he's got like a case of beer on him, like a beer box on his head. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's so true, though. You don't realize like just how gross you are. Oh, no, I need I'm that. surprised they haven't made like a second one for that. But yeah, um, Tacom FT just has Farva and um, uh, what was his name? It's Troopers. I don't know the good-looking one. I don't know. I, I haven't seen Super Troopers in a long time, and I think when I did see it, it was on TV, so I honestly have no idea. Okay, except for that one room, I think we have completely explored this mansion. Progress. So what's next up? We go back to the courtyard and use the uh, the battery in the other elevator. And 
then we move on to what I think is the end of the game, if I remember right. over eight months to complete it because I suck. <laughs> <laughs> so in all actuality it was probably what, like a four hour game? Five hour game? Uh, no, it's um, it's it's more than that. If you if you beat it within nine hours you get like this special uh, unlockable depending on what character you're playing in in a new game plus. I guess that makes um, sense. We would do like two or three hours per stream. Yeah, so but yeah, I've like, I've never been able to do that though. I, I say I've never been able to do that, but I've also only ever played this game once before. Yes, so it's not but like you really tried. I think I think I Beat the game in like 12 hours my first time. I don't know if I could do it in under 9. I think if you knew where everything was. Yeah, if I memorized everything, then sure. If you were to play it, if we were to consistently play it better than, you know, my sporadic bullshit, um. Uh, and then played it again, like, right after. I'm assuming that you could do it. Um, so Jill gets an unlimited rocket launcher for for the second playthrough, if you beat it in under nine hours. And Chris gets a unlimited flamethrower. Oh, you're here! Never mind. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I can't go through that door anyway, so, yeah, no, you can have that room. It's fine. I'm not going to needlessly fight a hunter. Waste of ammo. Yeah. Okay. Now the question is... How do I get back to the courtyard? Okay, I think it's around the right side, up through all those doors, and then... Uh, up along that hallway that's going north. That leads to the courtyard, yeah. But I think I would have come that way when I returned to the mansion, so they... This place should be clear? Maybe? Hopefully? This house is clear. What's the boss fight? Oh, um, yeah, yeah, you know what? I'm not fighting a spider in here. I'm just gonna... I ain't gonna worry about getting poisoned. Just get me out of here. So this, this path is not clear, is what you're telling me. Alright, I just have to go through this hallway... And that'll lead to where we return to the mansion. And then, yeah, that's just a straight shot to the courtyard. So as long as there's no surprises in this room, knock on wood. Oh, there's a hunter here. Uh, I'm just gonna push him aside. Always surprises. Always <laughs> bang on a surprise. Okay. Okay. We're good. We can just leave. Okay. 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 Ah! Why do you keep dropping the gun? You were due for a death, though. 
I was aiming, like, the entire time, and sometimes she's just like, okay, I'll put the gun down. No! Once again, enter the world of survival horror. Okay, so this is right before I went back up there to get all those, um, those items that I left. Okay. Uh, this time, I will not take a munch out of my leg from that zombie, at least. Or so you think. No. Don't I'll say that. It. I'll believe it when I see it. Ah, uh, yeah, me too. See, the funny thing is, I don't think I did this bad the first time I played. Like, um... I, I think I... Yeah, I think I had a lot more prepared... I think you're doing pretty good, but that's coming from me who does badly. At I've got like, I I've got like barely any healing items. I'm not doing that great. Okay, didn't let the zombie get me. I'll take that green herb. That green herb. Uh, blue herb. Battery. Let's get these explosive rounds. Here? No. Okay. Oh, Chewy. Err, oh, Chewy. He's, um, been coughing a lot lately. Oh. He has a... I mean, it's pretty common for chihuahuas. He has a collapsing trachea, so... Yeah, that yeah. seems like a chihuahua thing. Mm -hmm. But I think he also does it for, like, attention, because he does it more in the morning before his breakfast, and I'm sure, like, maybe eating his breakfast and having some water would clear things up, but now he's doing it about an hour and 15 minutes before... His dinner, so to me, I think he's just trying to get attention for dinner. Mm. It's too early, though. Come on, Chewie, you know it's too early. Mm. 
nothing happens when I look out this window. Okay. Bed goes up, bed goes down. Ugh. Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah. I mean, I'll take a free, free first aid class, but I hated doing first aid. I mean, it's good to have the certification, but... Classes are so incredibly fucking dull. What do you need to take a first aid class for? For work, apparently. Just for, like, working at the center. Hmm. Where 90% of, like, working out of the center is telling people where the public washrooms are. They're like, oh, can we not use our washrooms? I'm like, no, can you read? They're private. <laughs> Got them. Like, well, well, where are the public washrooms? Cross the fucking street. Get out of my face. Leave me alone. <laughs> I'm a very bitter person. Oh, me too. And then here I'm all like, I like to help people. I'm good with customer service. And I'm like, people are annoying. But they are. I just like, I don't like to be, like, it's not my job to be reception there, so. <sighs> I'll bring the bazooka with me. Bringing out the big guns. Yeah, I'll just just pop those motherfuckers with the with the acid rounds. Bring it. Are there better ways to deal with hunters? Yeah. But, uh... I'm kinda low on resources, so I don't care. For a minute there, I was like... Did someone ask you that? <laughs> oh, no. You asked yourself a question. Yeah, twas me. See? Then you don't even need me at all. You got the talking to yourself thing down pat. <laughs> I know that See, I need you that. to keep me from talking to myself. Yeah, but that's the whole point. You talk to yourself. That's what you do until someone comes to talk to you. I'm not saying that I don't mind. But I, I like talking to you. That's not what I'm trying to say. <laughs> <laughs> Put stop in mouth. <laughs> I will stop talking now. <laughs> Clearly, I'm coming off like an asshole. And that's my job. Had one job. I'm stealing it. Oh. No filters or fills, just abs and asshole remarks. Abs and assholes. Abs and ass. Oh, nice breeze. <laughs> is it Friday yet? It is Tuesday. <laughs> I guess I'm not like overly looking forward to the weekend. I am and I'm not. I know you're here, motherfucker. Yeah, how do you like that? How do you like them apples? Okay. He, uh, he nicked me. But I'm alright. And I think I fired off uh, one round more than I needed to.
You're gonna get the bad ending. Then. <laughs> because use two because I used too many uh too many acid rounds. Yeah. Use one too many acid. Rounds. Bad ending. Bitch. You did. He just took my head. It's also because you used too many. Like nope. I too fucking. Okay. Bad. I'll take out the one in that cramped hallway, and then for the other one, I'll just run around him. Oh my god. I forgot hunters being such bitches. So, guess what? I have to go get that stuff again. <laughs> now the jewel. Uh, um, maybe I can just... Maybe I can just save after I go grab that stuff. I got seven ink ribbons left. I should be fine. I'm so frugal, though. Oh, I forgot. You have, like, limited saves, too. That's crazy. Yeah. If only that my frugality crazy. carried over into into the real world. It oh doesn't, though. I don't know if you've seen that meme. It's just like... Here's all these, like, super rare items that help you play the game. So, never use them, hang on to them? No, wait, like... <laughs> yeah, exactly. Just never use them. Use those. Nope, so hoard them in my backpack. Got it. <laughs> like, nope. I'm the same way. I think, um, Steph, she bought, like, one of those, like, extra horses or something for Breath of the Wild, but if it dies in the game, it, like, die-dies, so she, like, never used it. You can get him back. I don't, I don't think at the time she didn't know. Yeah, because, uh, you can find the horse god, and, uh, and you can revive any horse that died with it. But, see... But that's the point. Like, she bought it, then she, like, hated the thought of it dying so that she never fucking used it. <laughs> um, I honestly think horses are kind of cumbersome in that game. And I, I just rarely use them because of that. Because, like, when I'm exploring, I'm going, like, off any beaten trail and just, like... Going on places where it would be just a inconvenient to bring a horse, or like the my horse can't fit into this area, so I, I I mean it's fine just like running across a field with a horse, but uh, but other than that, just uh, just no. That's fair. I um. Uh... I never really played that game. I just like watched Brendan play it. I'm a spectator. It's a spectator sport. No, it's not. Oh, oh. A second. My ass is hurting me. Okay. I bought like a gamer chair. I don't think it's like the best. But I also didn't want to buy like a secret labs chair, spend like eight hundred dollars, and then realize like it's not hey. really good for me either. Yeah, like this I wish they had. A... Yeah. yeah, I'm like I wish they had a storefront so I could go like sit in it. Would be nice. I'd love to. In like when I got this chair, there wasn't like floor models. It was just a box that you buy and it has a chair in it and you gotta build it. Yeah, that's, I got mine off Amazon like that. It's, um, the oh, I don't even remember what it's called. My buddy recommended it. And it's like good enough but I feel like it could have been better for me for my 
my needs. I feel like I've been sitting on my tailbone a lot lately, and that's not good for me. That posture is pretty important. Yeah. Pretty, pretty important. Pretty, 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 pretty posture. Pasta is important. Oh. What kind is yours? It's probably the same as mine, I guarantee it. No, mine's just a desk office chair. My friend bought me this really cool big uh, game chair uh, for Christmas a year ago. Like, not this past Christmas, but the one before that. And it, like, lit up and everything, and it was pretty neat. Uh, but it broke a couple months back, so I had to get this. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. What can you do for a Klondike bar? <laughs> oh my god, I haven't had a Klondike bar in like ever. I feel like I've had Klondike bars fairly recently, but not super recently. I could go for one, honestly. But what would I do for one? <laughs> what would you do for one? <laughs> Hang out on the street corner, find the right Jay to walk by, and give him the sucking of his life. That's what I'd do for one. Really? No. No, I would hope not. I don't think they're that good. <laughs> they're not. Thank you, chickens and pigs. think would go on a Jill sandwich? Like, if you were to, to make a sandwich and and, uh, and name it after Jill Valentine, what would you put on it? Hmm. That's a good question. Maybe, mm -hmm. um, maybe some, like, pastrami. Yeah. And honey Dijon mustard. Okay, okay. Um, maybe some... Uh, not iceberg lettuce, but like... Some other kind of lettuce that I'm thinking of. Um... Uh, romaine? Yeah, some romaine. She, she seems like a romaine chick. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. What would you put on it? Well, it would have to be ham for the, uh, for the hammy acting in this game. <laughs> That's fair. Uh, Maybe Swiss cheese for the, to represent the hunters that just slice my head off. Hey! Some sourdough bread. Stop it. 
like your symbolism. Pumpernickel for, uh... For how I'm pumping lead into these, uh, motherfuckers. There you go. Yeah. Maybe some cats of blood that spurts out of the zombies. How you doing today? Yeah, we're doing Resident Evil. And, uh... Evil. No, you have to say it. Resident Evil. Is that better? Go. Thank you. <laughs> Much better. And I am not doing so great on the inventory side right now. You know, remember, this is where the, we're showing you what not yeah. to do. Oh, oh, oh yeah. I juked him. I juked him. Ads kicked in already? You just got here. I think they always, like, kick in for me right when I start. I'm always so bummed because, like, I switch to a student prime account. Saves me, like, 40 bucks a year, but then I don't get the Twitch prime. Mm. Oh, I know. I can't give that to you. A winch for the elevator. The elevator is down. Oh, okay, so I gotta go around. I can't find a winch. But I bet you could find a winch. Huh. <laughs> I, I play the winch in this game. That's very nice for Jill. Shit, I might actually need the crank to get through here. I don't remember. Oh lord, I don't remember. You're back! A dinosaur story. Long ads. Fucking ads. What kind of ad did you watch? Was it the Oreos? Was it the Star Wars Oreos? I didn't watch. I didn't mind watching that ad. Okay, I didn't need it. Good. Whew. There's three 30 okay. seconds ads. It's like a minute and a half. It's ridiculous. I hate how they started putting ads on Prime, too, now. And it's the same fucking commercial over and over again. You want to know how to get me not to buy your product? Shove it down my fucking throat. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's a mockumentary makeup commercial for himself. Some what? What? It's interesting. <laughs> Elf like Will Ferrell elf? That brings me back here. Why did I do that? I don't remember. Actually, at 4.30 when I start making dinner, I can still have my laptop up and my headphones on. So. Wow. Try and get closer to completion. Okay, I remember something happening that like opens up that blocks this waterfall. It's like she awakens from her hibernation and her skins look like shit, but it's no match for her elf bronzing agent. Okay. The fuck? Some Something people like who have their jobs in marketing should not have their jobs in marketing. 100% agree with that. I like all the howling in the background. Whole things. That was the whole fucking ad. Oh my god. It's an ad, not a fucking lifeline story. <laughs> You've got to dehydrate. Yeah, I remember you. 
And, uh, shoot, I gotta go get a beer again. I'll be right back. <clears throat> oh, my ass. I mean, dehydrates is a good one. I don't even actually know. Oh, I'm back with beer. It's a good thing you have beer on hand. I actually have beer in my fridge from last summer. Um, these are actually pretty old, too. I don't drink like I used to. It's a sad, sad reality. I think that's a better reality, <laughs> but I guess that depends on who you talk to. Yeah. I had Whew. one. I had a couple drinks when I was in Ireland, and then before that, I had drinks in October. So, yeah. What kind of beer did you grab? Uh, Dos Equis. That's what I prefer. Yeah, I have the. I bought like a. I like mixer packs because if you don't like. The beer that you bought, at least you have like other ones. I bought this like mixer okay. bag last year that was like Cowbell Brewing, I think it was. And I mean, I just like had to have it for that name alone. Uh, but there was like different kind of beers in it. Yeah. Pretty decent. And I just don't drink that much anymore, so. There's still some in my fridge. And then there's a couple beers I bought for Christmas that I didn't end up drinking. Um, these are beers that my friend just gave me. And, uh... And I've just held on to for several months. Um... If you want to know who I am, I'm the guy who made him get two armor pieces while playing Tears of the Kingdom for my crack outfit combo. And I appreciated the armor. Uh, just cause, um, just cause I wanted to collect more armor. Yeah, I like collecting stuff. That's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. I spent a lot of time just playing Final Fantasy XIV just to get the cards. Oh, 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 oh. I do need the crank. I need the crank, and I didn't bring it with me. Well, uh... Help some dude try and find the light dragon for like three hours. I mean, Quest Tracker just keeps track of it though, yeah? <laughs> you never ended up finding her. Well, Why not? Three hours and nothing to show for it? Is he not good at taking directions or. Or is he like me, just terrible at fucking video games? I mean, I won't play, no! Don't hurt me. <laughs> I know there's a save room there, but it's got a hunter in front of it, and I don't feel like dealing with it. It's hitting my office now. It's fucking hot. Hot out. Hot. Don't 
Don't blame me. I voted for Kodos. <laughs> eh. Oh, no, D Jill. That is the wrong time to be doing that. Whew. a Jill sandwich. How about you go down there, Jill? Wasn't looking for the Master Sword. He was trying to find her to upgrade the Champion Leathers. I should probably upgrade my Champion's Leathers. I did pick up a lot of stuff from the Light Dragon when I, when I found her. Because I just, um... I just ran a topper and just started picking up all the spikes and everything. Certainly not high praise. But like train wreck painful to watch. But like how do you have the master sword and then not know how to find the uh, the light dragon? See, that's kind of how I think I would hope I would be described as, like, painfully bad to watch my video game playing, but funny. Yeah. At least you're funny. Well, not always. I mean, I got pretty decently okay at playing Red Dead. He stopped playing for multiple months? Oh, okay, well, that that's fine, then. I can't remember how to do shit when I haven't played a game in a long time, nor do I ever remember where I'm supposed to be. It felt like a children's show. <laughs> was he was he asking the uh, was he asking the audience Dora the Explorer style like, do you see the light dragon? Oh my god, did you see that live-action movie? Of Dora the Explorer? Yeah. No? Oh my god, like, right at the beginning, she does that. Like, she turns to the camera, and she's like, do you know whatever? And then her dad, like, looks at her, and then, like, looks over, and then looks at her, like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm, like, pretty sure, I'm, like, 90% sure that movie wasn't meant for kids. Because there's, okay. like, a whole, like, drug trip scene as well. And it's just, like, there was some serious, like, laugh-out-loud moments. <laughs> just, and it's that guy from uh, Ant-Man that plays her dad. So I'll try and find the clip online and send it to you later. Because it's just so funny. It's like, wait a minute. This is supposed to be a kid's movie, right? He's, like, looking at her like she's so fucked up. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> I've never considered watching the Dora the Explorer movie before. Yeah, that movie was fucking amazing, right? Like, it was fucking hilarious. It's like, a great... Like, it was well done. It was funny, and... Yeah, I didn't... I don't know. I just threw it on one day, like... Curiosity, and it was, like, pleasantly surprising. Just like, threw it on for a lark. Yeah. And then it ended up being, like, pretty entertaining, so... Okay now, Hunter. I don't like you and you don't like me. Let's just avoid each other. 
There we go. See, I'm probably dating myself, but like Dora the Explorer of Blue's Clues came after I was no longer a kid. Um, oh, yeah. the tail end of my childhood did involve me watching a little bit of Blue's Clues, but Dora the Explorer definitely came after me. And the Mario movie had me tweaking because of all the references. I thought it was super fun, too. Yeah, the Mario movie was surprisingly good. That was adorable because I was watching it with John and mm. at the beginning because he's a plumber. He's like, oh, okay. Shut off the valve! Shut off the valve! Like, <laughs> I was like, he's like, oh no! Like, when the, like, that whole first scene with the dog is fucking so cute. The water is running from the upper water passage. There's something in the back. Can I just use this here? No. I was watching the other day that had like a lot of movie references in it too. So like, when they bring back, when when they bring back like a uh, an old franchise and make a kids movie out of it, they usually do something really fucking stupid with it. You know what I mean? Like, like, oh, here's the Smurfs movie, but in this one, they rap and shit, and it's just like, oh, okay, way to make them fucking stupid. Mario didn't do that. Yeah. Mario, Mario was actually cool about the way they did it. My only complaint would be Chris Pratt. Uh, I, I think Chris Pratt did fine, honestly. Yeah, I just don't like him. And out of, like, all the voice actors and stuff, you could have gotten, like... Eh. But I did, like, uh, what's his name? Charlie. A Charlie Day? Yeah. Yeah, he was great Luigi. as Luigi. But I always liked Luigi more anyway, because... Same. You know, I have an older brother, so I was always, like, Luigi, so... I've heard good things about the Chippendale yeah. remake. Um... Or reboot. Oh my god, it's so good. I quote that movie all the time too, and it's it's actually super fucking sad, and fucked up. Is that thing like about Peter Pan, the child actor that played Peter Pan? Is it's true what happened to him? So. <laughs> oh yeah, the rap was, mm. but it was also like Andy Samberg, so it's a rap that's allowed. You should wait, watch it. wait, I think I know where I'm supposed to use this. Um, Fine, I'm going to put in for him. They did rap, but they did it ironically. That Okay. And it's Andy That's Samper. fine. It's, as long Andy as it's Samper ironic. Andy Samberg voiced Chip, so... Oh, it's not Chip? Yeah. Is it here? The ugly Sonic thing had me rolling. That was, like, my favorite part of it. Oh, it's over here. It's over here. Okay. I was forgetting where things were. See, I didn't even know either that they had... You know when they, like, started advertising the Sonic movie and he looked, like, ugly he looks and horrifying. not, like, yeah. Sonic at all? And I was like, I'm not fucking watching that. Like, that's just... Like, they already kind of ruined Ninja Turtles by doing that. Yeah. <clears throat> So I'm not watching Sonic. And then it was in the Chippendale movie that they kept calling him, like, Ugly Sonic. And then they um, basically said they had re-rendered him. And I'm like, wait, they did? And then I went and I watched, like, a new trailer. And I was like, oh, holy fuck, they had. So the whole, like, um, they had, uh, like, they're at conventions, like, Comic-Con kind of thing. Like, you know, like actors that don't do anything anymore so they were making fun of that as well so like chip was there and then the ugly sonic was there. <laughs> mm, oh, anyway uh, i've heard good things about the sonic movie but uh, i don't want to watch it it's not terrible but yeah if you don't There's a watch ladder. it will you descend you're not it? missing yes. out really see i just It's it's just not how I think a Sonic movie should be done. Like I don't, I don't how think. Do you that... know? You've seen it. 
Well, it, I don't think it should have, like, real people. It oh, should be... Oh, gotcha. That's oh, Barry! Joe. What good timing. A moment ago, I heard someone's voice coming from this hole. Let's go together since it's dark and we can't see very well. Will you go with him? Uh... Yes? Okay, I think I'm go. supposed to do it. Go on. Okay. Then I'm gonna cover you. Let's hurry! Hey, are you all right? I can go first if you want me to. Do you want him to go first? Let me let me check what I'm supposed to do for the good ending. Okay, okay, okay. Doesn't say anything okay. about Barry. Okay, Let's whatever. Let's go, Barry. I'm depending on you. Let's see, there's that over there. But what's over here? I don't like that tunnel. I don't like it. Me That's neither. That's my favorite. My favorite quote from the Chippendale movie. It's like, a message on my landline. I don't like that. Hmm. I don't like that. He says that. Embedded in my brain. Oh yeah, well, what I was saying about the Sonic movie, it, it shouldn't have real people. It should be about Sonic saving his his animal friends from being roboticized from, from Dr. Robotnik plot is that he's escaping and he lands on Earth. And it is kind of funny in the sense of like the destruction that he causes on Earth. I, I'm I just not a fan. Good. I'm just not a fan of those movies that mix like animation. No, uh, that, that, that mix like the cartoon characters with um with like real people. I mean, un unless it's something like um Roger Rabbit, you know, where it's like, where that's like the point of it. Roger Rabbit. Yeah. Did you know, what was the story behind that? Um, I'm just trying to think. There's like an interesting piece of like, movie trivia. Um, that the like, main... Doctor Bob Hoskins. Name? Bob Hoskins actually like Lost went already. a little insane it's after filming like it. Oh. Uh, yeah. Lost courage already. It's not like you. Oh, you won't let me go back. I'm fine. Yeah. So he like ended up suffering like hallucinations months after filming it. Huh. Yeah. Because this is like back before they had like stand ins, right? Like right. to for you to interact and talk with. Like James Gunn has uh Thank you, Barry. What's his face like be the stand in for like Rocket, you know? Mm -hmm. In those movies, like and so he basically had to, like, really pretend that they were there, and then that just kind of transferred over into his life for a while after the fact. It's, like, pretty crazy. Hmm. <clears throat> I mean, if he was hallucinating Jessica Rabbit, there are worse things. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Is this the Boulder Room? I remember there being, like... Is that Jill? Is that, Is that Jill? Amigos? Yeah? You're alive! Wait there! Are you with anybody, Jill? Are you with anybody, Jill? What? Oh, yes! 
Enrico. So, Barry and Jill together. Yeah. Are you all right, Enrico? The stars are doomed. Someone is a traitor. Everything was plotted from the start by Umbrella. Who? Ah! Ah. Who? Oh, shoot! Hit you from behind. Oh, shy. Enrico! Enrico! Oh, I think we lost your friend because you didn't like Sonic. <laughs> Well, I apologize for nothing. <laughs> Couldn't have moved because of his injury. He's holding something. Oh, yeah, yeah. we'll take more bullets. Barry is investigating. Good for him. Barry, I think he's dead. I thought you did the thing that he wouldn't die. Barry didn't die. That was Enrico. Oh, he's dead. he's not. Uh... Enrico. Yeah. Enrico. Did you watch Follow? No. No. <clears throat> I don't. Uh care about the fallout games uh you don't have to really care about or like the games it's just a pretty dope show hmm. but the kid that played rico off hannah montana was on the show it was funny to see the internet like suddenly recognize him and be like oh hey is that the guy from like hannah montana I'm like yes <laughs> i don't know who so that fun. is I will have to say, even though I was an adult, I shamefully watched some of those shows, like Sunny with a Chance and Hannah Montana, and oh. I'm in the band, because I thought they were pretty funny. Guilty pleasure. Oh, fuck. There's a hunter here. I don't want to fuck with... Oh, there's a hunter here, too. Nope, you're going to have to fuck with one of them. No, I can, I can come over here. It's fine. Whew. Hide in this corner. There's a hunter there too! Get the fuck! I'm gonna assume end game. There's gonna be. They're gonna be everywhere. Okay, what time is it? Almost 4 30. Take my laptop and Okay, take you my just go that way then. Whew. Thing is, I think if I had ran past that room, I would have got to a safe room. It's an old typewriter. A hole has opened, and I can't jump over it. Well, it's a hexagonal hole. Well, I got a hexagonal crank. Gets the job done. This is the boulder. Eh. We're Indiana Jones and... Oh, shit! Oh, I got caught in the corner. Oh, well. You got smooshed. I sure did. Smooshed.
<sighs> you watch the boys? That's on Amazon Prime, right? Yeah. Yeah, I don't have that. Oh. What do you have? Uh, Netflix and Disney Plus. I watched Star Wars The Acolyte and it was fucking terrible. I've heard. I feel like that show is the reason why Spielberg's now like losing his fucking mind. It's like one straw too many, I guess. Spielberg's losing his mind? Spielberg, like, over that show. Can't remember. I don't know. I'd have to look it back up. Like, He's just like kind of over the direction that they're like taking Star Wars. Oh. It's too much. Too much, not good. Well, anyway, this time I'm going to actually bring the crank with me. would be helpful. Mm -hmm. In fact, it's necessary. I would say, though, watch The Acolyte just as, just to be put in awe at how bad writing can get. No thanks. i pretty sure I don't. I could imagine. I could write a better script for that show, and I'm nobody. Then we should. We should write a better Star Wars script. <laughs> Let's write The Acolyte, but good. Oh, what movie we were watching that? New Ryan Re Reynolds movie, If. And I guess the ending. And John's like, it's because you know movies. I'm like, nah, it's just because I'm kind of a, like, I can write shit. <laughs> hmm. I have not heard of that movie. It's still cute. It's worth a watch, but... What is it? Like, um, it's like about this girl whose dad is in the hospital and then starts seeing imaginary friends. Hmm. Okay. And then Ryan Reynolds can see them too. And I was going to say, is Ryan Reynolds her imaginary friend? Yeah, that's, well, yeah, pretty much that was the ending and that's what I guessed. I was oh. like, oh, he's an imaginary, yeah. <laughs> that's pretty much it. Damn, I'm good at that too, and I didn't even see the movie. <laughs> yeah. I, like, a lot of times it didn't, like, fucking make sense either. I was kind of like, I don't get what's happening. But it was still cute. But, yeah, it was pretty, in my mind, predictable. I was like, something don't quite add up about him. Hmm. I think Ryan, Ryan Reynolds is fake. <laughs> I think he was made up on the spot. He's quite a character of himself. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was a much more clean run to get here. And you remembered the winch? I did. You imagine. You got all that way in the Forgot it. And just I had know. to run back. 
keep getting distracted, keep forgetting it. Avoid the snakes, don't even deal with them. We don't need no snakes around here, around these parts. Wait for the chopping noises. Somebody chopping wood. Chopping yams. Oh, oh shit. Starting dinner. Hey, you woodchucks. Quit chucking my wood. Snakes can't get me up here. They're only on the other side of the fountain area. there's not more dogs outside in the games. I mean, they were out here. I just killed them a long time ago. Oh. Um, they don't, like, respawn or anything like that? No. Once it's dead, it's dead. But, uh, I think in the last area, things do respawn. There's a ladder, will you descend it? Yeah. Oh, actually, actually, if I were smart, let's go back up the ladder. SMRT? SMRT. And we can go to the guardhouse from here, and there should be just a straight shot to a, uh, to a safe room. I think you remember more than you give yourself credit for. Uh, I mean... Maybe. Because <laughs> <laughs> the, the safe room is just over here on the right. For only having played it once, like I would. And how long ago did you play it? Uh, it's been several years. Yeah. And then we can get rid of this crank. Um. Are you sure you don't need that crank again? Yes. We could, uh... I could save here, and, uh... And we can end it here for now, and you can go have your dinner. Making dinner now, but that's totally up to you. Might be a good spot to yeah. save, I suppose. I think uh, I think this is the um, this is the me reacquainting myself with the game uh, stream. 
And I promise I won't, like, wait eight months. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually free, like, next Tuesday. Okay, we'll do it next Tuesday. Or no, wait. Wait, yeah. I have a bed appointment at 11.30, but yeah, same time in the afternoon. Okay. Sure I can be good. Yeah. Um, okay. yeah, no, uh, that, that's all fine. Um, next time... Next time I can go in with a plan. Okay. And it probably won't be as sloppy as a, a, a stream, hopefully. <laughs> hey, sloppy streams are the best streams. Sloppy steaks are the best steaks. Oh, yeah. But with that, uh, thanks for watching, thanks for hanging out, and have a goopy night. Good night, everybody. Bye.